there's different type of a favor. If I can mention something to you, this is what I call a, a, a common favor. But there's also unusual. How many of you want unusual? Okay, so let's do it. Let's go. And then I'm going to minister to you. I'm going to pray for you. But I want you to depend and receive, believe the word. Because the Bible says, faith cometh by hearing and hearing the word. So I want you to come and get that, you know, the word. And believe it with me. Are you ready? So let's go. Those that are watching by the internet, welcome again. I am talking to you. And tell somebody, yes, you need to connect. Uh, on unusual, how to come, how to enter into unusual favor. The Lord spoke to me in the beginning of the year, uh, last year, and the Lord said, 2021, he said, will be a year of unusual favor for the remnant. I didn't say for everybody. Do you believe you're going to go through so much and nothing is going to happen in 2021? Our Lord is good. So I just want you to know that it's going to be this year, but for the remnant. Because a lot of church start shouting, amen, amen. But the question is, are you a remnant? You know, because people get frustrated because they say, oh, you said that it's going to be a year of blessing and nothing had happened in my life. The question is, prophecies are conditional. Are you doing your part? Are you believing the word? Are you acting in the word? Are we there in the back? Yes, say yes. Yes, okay. So don't be a hearer only. You need to hear the word. I need the volume. I don't know if it's my voice. I don't know if I didn't have my Cuban coffee or I don't know if it's the sound, but I need the <laughs> Oh, my God. Okay, so let's go. So um, I pray for each one of you that you can come into this unusual favor. And I'm going to ask you some questions. How favor, how this unusual favor come or came into your life? How to enter in favor? Um, and let me mention something to you that happened to me. When I had an experience with God, and when that light appeared to me two years ago, when the Lord gave me a new mantle, and, and when the Lord put that mantle upon me, he said, this mantle carries, he said, is a mantle of multicolors. And the Lord said, remember? And the Lord said, colors represent favors, multiple favors. And he said, this mantle will give you access Everybody lift your hands and say, access. No, but you need to sound like you have a strong black Cuban Colombian coffee. Access. Say it. Come on. One, two, three. Go. Say it. Okay. Access. So the question is this. How far can you go? So the Lord gave me that unusual favor when he gave me that mantle. So the question is to you, how does favor on me as your spiritual father, as your apostle, work with you? So there's some questions I want you to hear. Is it possible? Or how far can you go without the favor of God? That's number one question. Number two, would be it possible to live, would it be possible to you? To live on this earth without the favor of God. No, it wouldn't be possible. Would you survive in the crisis we are living in without favor? Okay, so I want you to remember what I taught you last Sunday. If you didn't come, please get the message. What did I teach you? The greatest benefit of of honor, of honoring is favor. If you honor God last week, be ready because the greatest benefit 
of honoring God and honoring people is favor. Somebody lift your hands, please. So, this is the thing that I want. I am believing if you honor God with your first fruit, the first benefit that you will receive is favor. Say favor. Okay, we cannot, if, we t if I tell you the truth, no one can be successful without the miracle of favor. Number two, there are things in life that you and I will never get without favor. Never. Somebody have to say amen on that. Favor is the credit system of God. If you don't have favor, you don't have credit with God. You can measure your credit by the level of favor. In the sense that certain things cannot happen without favor. Because, and he said, how do you know? You try, you try, and you try, and nothing happened. That tells you you need greater access. Well, you don't sound excited. I'm going to go to 11 o'clock. So, what is favor? Lift your hands. Somebody can tell me and think for a moment what is favor. I don't want this knowledge of favor, God, unusual favor, just to come in your head and keep repeating the same cycles of your life. I want you to think for a moment. And I want you to put it in your heart. What is favor? Favor is nothing more than divine access. Everybody say divine access. Write them down. Write it down. Write it down. Knowledge is what you need for the next step. And then you said, oh, I got it. No, you need to write them down. So favor is nothing more than divine access. Okay. Access with what? Access with people, places, and things. Access with people, places, and things. Okay, listen to me. Access, say with me, access. There are, there are people that I accessed that I know. It wasn't my intelligence. It wasn't my beauty. It wasn't my, that I'm brilliant. I know it was the favor of God. How do you know? When somebody tells you, I am doing this for you. I don't like you. But I'm doing this for you anyway, and I don't know why. Sound, sound. Access, yes. What is that? It's access. It's favor. How many of you have been in the bottom of the pile, and suddenly they put you on top? Here, apparently, they don't know what it is. I hear. Okay, again, what is that? Don't take credit for something the favor of God has done. Have you have access to people that you never dreamed in your life? And then you said, how am I here? How am I here? I don't know. Oh, I, I explained to you, is the favor of God. You started your business with nothing. And now you see your business grow. And then you said, yeah, because I know the strategy. Don't give me that. It's because of favor. Touch your neighbor the next to you and say, it's the favor of God. Everybody, come on, lift your hand and say, favor. Say, God, today, today, I will enter in a new level of favor. Unusual favor. Say it louder. Come on. Say, unusual favor. Come to me. Give me access with people, places, and things. What I have 
what I have done, who I am, is because of the favor of God. Shout amen, somebody. Those that are watching by the internet, those that are watching at home, you must enter in the favor of God. So what is favor then? <laughs> Access. How many of you Pray to the Lord, and the, the prayer was answered. I want to see your hands. Your prayer has been answered. And then you said, why? The reason is, even all the prayers that, that you pray and God answered them, the Lord said to me, they are the result of my favor. In other words, you wouldn't have any prayer answered without a favor. You have to have favor with God. So that access is first to him, to the Father. And then access with people, other people. Access with places. Access with things. Then you said, how can I have access to this man? How can I have access to this woman? How can I have access to? Impossible. And I tell you, that's favor. Can I say amen? amen? Okay, remember the business you opened? Okay, so what is favor? Favor, say with me, favor. Favor in the Hebrew, favor means irresistible beauty. Thank you, daughter. Thank you over here. Aquí. Okay, come on. Irresistible beauty. Everybody say, I am. I am what? Say, I am irresistible. In other words, when the favor of God is upon you, people can say no to you. You've been forcing some relationship. You've been forcing certain things, trying to do it in your own ability. When God said, if you be obedient and do what I called you to do, I will do it without you forcing anything. How many of you want that favor? Oh my God. So is a irresistible beauty. What do you mean by that? Well, people look at you And when favor come upon you, listen to me, musicians and everybody here and the elders and everybody. When favor, the favor of God comes on you, listen to this. When the favor of God comes upon you, there is a beauty. It's not physical. There is an untangible beauty. Wealth. There is untangible. It's not tangible. But there's something that God covers you with. And people look at you. And they said, I don't know why. That's the word they use. They can't explain it. I am helping you. I don't like you. You're my enemy. But I'm helping you. How many of you are ready for that unusual faith? So what I'm... So favor is a resistible beauty. It's not natural. It is so, it's this untangible, untangible wealth. Meaning that, and somebody said, but I don't need intangible. I want tangible. The problem is you exchange it to be liquid and tangible when you obey. When you honored, that irresistible beauty becomes resources. Here, don't want resources. Over here. Okay. The contract that you were looking for, this is powerful, people. If you get a hold of this favor, things will come effortless. And how do you know? I've been there. 
I've been praying for a door to open for years. And nothing happened. One day favor came. And boom, opened that door. So this year is going to be a year of favor. So you're going to enter into access. In other words, entering doors, entering access to people. God will give you access with the person that has the contract, that approved your contract. God will give you access with people. And then you said, how can I have access to this man? And I want you to remove the limits of, of God. Don't think because I am not educated, I don't have access to it. Favor can do what education can't. I, I love education. I'm an educated person. So I'm not talking. Don't. Send me emails. <laughs> Can I hear an amen? In other words, I love education. But sometimes I've seen many educated people. They don't even own their own home. And somebody with favor, they already owned it. I've seen educated people. Again, your trust is not in your job. Your trust is in the favor of God. So this is powerful man. Like, like the Jamaican, you know what I mean? Yama. Yeah, Say Yama. Yeah, okay. So favor is access with people, places, and things. Lift your hands and say, this year. No, but you need to say it like, this year. And somebody said, this year is the year. And they say, this year, I am coming into unusual day. But I want you to enjoy it. Say, come on, sit louder, loud. One, two, three, go. Those that are watching by the internet, unusual day. Apostle, but I need to pay my rent. Favor will change or will convert that into the resources you need. So, okay, so God gave, God extended favor to his people as a sovereign act of his presence and glory. And with this irresistible beauty, the Egyptians could not say no. Exodus 3.21 and Exodus 12.36. I need to run. I just started at the beginning. And I will give this people. Whose people? Hebrews. Israelites. The word, the name Israel, Israelite means the one that rule like God. I will give this people that rule like me favor. What favor means? Access. But you sound like, yeah. Lift your hands. Come on, say it. Access. Okay, so the Lord gave them access with the Egyptians. And who were the Egyptians? The master, the taskmasters. Treat him hard. And then and gave him favor in the sight of the Egyptian. Meaning that when you have the favor of God, people have a good opinion about you. In their sight, they love you and they don't know why. They say, I like you. <laughs> and I don't know why. So they give him when that favor, that, that irresistible beauty came upon them. And it shall come to pass that when they go, they shall not go empty. Come on, put your hands together. One, two, three, go. Shout amen. Say, this 
year, I will not go empty.